Oh, guys, Mark, you see it today. We're back with another video, and uh, yeah, I think I fixed I fixed my face scan. I was having issues with it uh, earlier. I fixed it now. All right, cool. What's going on, guys? The boy, Mannix, man. All right, listen. Y'all, we've reacted to Mannix quite a few times already, and I love this guy simply because he is entertaining as heck. The dude is freaking hilarious. I love his rants on Last of Us 2. I mean, I, I, I'm messing. I'm not what they hate, but he just makes it so funny by the way. He, he just yells, and he's so freaking funny. I'm not with the Last of Us 2 bandwagon. Hate. Listen, you know, I made videos, countless of videos on Last of Us 2, so don't say, oh, you're a hater of Last of Us 2. I'm not, because I was defending this game before this journey even came out, so don't. 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 No, 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 no. All right? Just want to get that get that out there. Clarify that right quick, you mean? So, uh, bro, this guy, Ghost of Shima, destroys Last of Us 2. Listen, me, I already knew uh, Ghost of Shima was going to be better than Last of Us 2. Um, I knew that from the from the rip. That this game was going to be better. I knew that from the rip. So, uh, yeah. I th I honestly do think The Last of Us 2, I don't know, it's a good game and all that, but I, I, I definitely do think Ghost of Tsushima is going to be better. Um, I definitely do think that, honestly, in my honest opinion. You know? You know, we can have opinions, so... Yeah, man. So, I'm, I'm going to get started with this video. Uh, Ghost of Shima destroys The Last of Us 2. Uh, I kind of want to hear what he has to say about this. <laughs> I definitely can't wait to hear what this guy has to say. Um, without further ado, man, I know I'm probably going to get a good laugh out of this one. So, let's see. My deku. I've always... Saku my deku. I've always <laughs> wanted to say Here we that. Go, bro. The main character of Ghost of Tsushima gets killed. Killed in the first two hours. By a transgender LGBTQ samurai. And how, <laughs> how does it happen? Well, he gets beaten to death with a bag of rice. And then you're forced to play as that trans samurai who waves his dick around like a katana for the next 10 hours. Bro, okay, why? Okay, why that does not like happen, this, bro? thankfully. Why? But what does happen in the Ghost of Tsushima, and yes, I definitely practiced saying Tsushima to not piss off the weeds. <laughs> but in the Ghost of Tsushima, you get to pet little red foxes. These little creatures will guide you to hidden shrines across the island. I'm telling you, it's small details like this that make the world of Tsushima feel alive. I mean, put it like this. You can either pet a fox in Ghost of Tsushima or shoot dogs in The Last of Us Part 2. Bro, Need this say guy now, I want everyone to understand, understand that Ghost this, of Tsushima came man. out solely to erase the terrible memory of The Last of Us Part 2. Bro, and like so I said, I hate The Last of Us my, my boy, but, yo, This game you looks be, like a painting. Hilarious. Every set piece is very, very eye-catching. It's actually visually appealing to the point where it's breathtaking. These developers clearly prioritize the weather, the wind systems, over texture clarity and animation polish, and that's a decent trade-off for me. Legend has it, though, that the wind in Ghost of Tsushima is powered by the PS4's unholy loud wind turbine fan system. It almost what? blew my fucking eardrum. Yo, why is he anyway, yelling, Anyway, as you explore very early, birds would lead you to missions and secrets... Like you're some Disney princess, which isn't a bad thing, because we all want to put on a dress and feel like a queen sometime, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> anyway, there are a shit ton of collectibles. And if you're like me and you spent a hundred plus hours just doing side missions in The Witcher 3, yeah, a shiny bird will turn you into his bitch sooner rather than later. And speaking of The Witcher 3, dying in The Witcher sucked huge monkey bollocks because the load times would be five to ten minutes in some cases however in ghost of tsushima the load times are around five seconds and for a open world game that is impressive and as far as the gameplay goes it has a standard parry block evade and various stances i played it on the normal difficulty and it was way way 
way too easy to kill regular enemies and it doesn't help that the enemy AI has the attention span of a Down Syndrome child. Especially when right, you go nah, slow and nah, stand there like like fingering the assholes while you're making the loudest noises that was, right kind of next to up. them. If you don't care about realism when it comes to the gameplay, this won't really affect you. If all you care about is looking like the main character in a Kurosawa movie and have fun, then this is the perfect game for you. And for me, it was incredibly satisfying doing chain assassinations and hiding in a bush like a ninja. And you have different stances to choose from. Four to be exact, and you use them depending on who the enemy is. And as you get better and do all the side quests like I told you, you'll max out every single skill in each stance. And that is all I'm going to say, ladies and gentlemen, because I, I don't want to spoil the game. Boy. Every other review I've seen, they're just spoiling way too much. You need to experience this for yourself. Yes, Speaking of sir. reviews... The Ignorant yes, Gamers sir. Network, IGN, yeah. gave this game a 0 out of 10 because there wasn't enough racial diversity in Japan. They also added that it didn't make them feel like a murderous muscle head with a golf club. Tsushima gives the fans what they want. IGN Ignorant score, 0 out of 10. I just want to mention, golf existed in Japan during this period, so theoretically... The Mongols could have had some golf clubs with them. Yo, he's and still on that, that box. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Manix out. Yo, Manix, shout out for the entertainment. Bro, this guy is so entertaining. I hope you guys are hungry because we're going to do Oh, my gosh, bro. His energy is just amazing, bro. Manix, bro, if you somehow come across this video, I love your videos, bro. I think you're funny as heck. I don't, I'm not with, I, I'm not with you on the Glass of Us 2 slander, but you are hilarious, my boy, bro. Hey, Manix, bro, if you somehow come across this video, bro, yo, shout out to you, bro. You funny as heck. But, um, anyway, guys, that's it for me. That's it for me today. An for entire mukbang series guys in this little cafe. Uh, like I said, I might upload some, uh, I might, what the heck? Oh. I like the video. Uh, I might upload some more Last of Us 2 stuff. I might upload, I know, oh, Far Cry 6. We definitely, I might make a video on that like, probably later today. I'm trying to wait for this game to load. It's probably taking a, it's taking a while, but. I'm like halfway through the game loading. But, um, yeah, man, we'll see what happens with that. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. But my next video should be Far Cry 6 related. And, uh, yeah, see you guys in my next video. And, uh, yeah. Bye, Z! Yeah. Alright, guys.